Hello, so you want to create a, an infographic using PictoChart where you're going to go to PictoChart.com P-I-K-T-O-C-H-R-T dot com PictoChart.com and you're going to see where it says try it free you're going to click on try it free and then you're going to create a username and the username is going to be your E number or excuse me your S number so you put in your S number S and the number and then your email if you don't have an email you could use uh, Miss Schaefer's by putting Peggy dot Schaefer plus a number we each have to have a different number to work so I'll do plus uh, I'll do start with 20 and you could do 21 password will be again your E number or excuse me S number just the number again your S number but just the number this time and don't subscribe to the newsletter unless you really want it create my account oh I forgot the email address we gotta put at nisd.net. So Peggy dot Schaefer plus a number. Each person needs their own number. I'll be 20 at nisd.net. Create my account. So my account has been created. You have signed up successfully. All right. So we are going to create a chart. So let me go to Picto Themes at the top and it will show you the themes you can choose from. Uh, these are the nine themes I believe that you can choose from here. Okay, The ones at the bottom you can't because we would have to pay money for those. But you could choose different themes and basically this will come up and then you change the text or you can add pictures or take away pictures and change it as you want to change it. Okay. I'm going to begin with the blank canvas. That's easier for me. So I'm going to pick that theme. And every time you want to change something, you, you'll see it's highlighted in gray. So it does it by blocks. You see, there is a block there. If I click on that, and then I could add another block. I could delete that block. I could clone it. I could move this block down or move it up. But if it's in gray, if it has this by it, then you can work with it. Like right here, this highlights it. And then you can click it on. And at the top, I could trash it. I don't want it. Okay? So, I don't want these. So, I'm going to click them on and trash them at the top. Okay. Say you want to add something. You could add a graphic. Okay. Click on graphics. They have icons. Transportation icons. Sports. Media. Shapes. People. Alright, so you just want to take a people, I'll take this smiley face, you just grab it and drop it. And then you could size it any size by grabbing the corner of it. Okay? They have tons of graphics on icons, check those out. They have images as well. Okay, they have shapes. So I'll take that one, hold up my head, grab it. Well, that came out really large, huh? Got to work with it within my gray box here. There we go. All right, so tons of shapes there. You can get layered backgrounds. Let's see what that will do. Okay, you could layer your background if you want to put something in the back. So you, that's in front, right? All you got to do is click up here move to the bottom okay and if you want to layer it you can move it to the next layer down so they have layering here you can move it one level up or one level down so really cool so if I want to move it to the front to cover that I want to move it to the back to hide that so all kinds of graphics now if you want to upload your own pictures you can do that by going upload images clicking upload an image and you just choose a photo that you have. All right, just double click your photo and it will upload it. 
Again, you have to first save the photo to the computer. So you want to give a file and do when you find your photo on Google Images, go Save As and rename the file and save it. Okay, so say I want that picture. I just grab it and bring it over. And then you could resize it just like that. All right, very good. So you can add your own pictures and you've got background. We saw that. Uh, text. You could add uh, titles, like a header there. You could put in a header like uh, test. Okay, that's my test header. And can you give it different colors? Uh, yes, you can. Here's the color chart right here. So you can add a, make it red, make it bold. All right. To change it, anything, you got to make sure it's highlighted on. And once it's highlighted, it'll pop up at the top. What you can do, you can change the font here. You can change the size. Okay. Very nice. Say if you want to just put text in, which I imagine you do. You bring it over here, and you can just type in. This is the text box. I can type on and on as much as you want. All right. And uh, that's what that looks like. And I wonder if you could change the size of that, too. Yes, you can. Very nice. So you can make your text go down here. So you can do all kinds of things. And uh, you're done with that one. Now you can click this one on. All right. And I want to trash that. I don't want that there. So, again, just like you did with that one, you know, add things. And you can go down and keep going. And if you run out of space, you can add a block, another block there. Okay? All kinds of things you can do. All right, very good. So another thing that you can do is your style. If you click on style, that will be able to allow you to change coloring. They've got a lot of already preset styles in there. So you can look at the style. Okay? So we're not ready to publish. That will be the step tomorrow when you're all finished and you can hand it in to Ms. Schaefer. I'll show you how to publish. Right now you just need to know how to save. And to save, you're going to go up to File, and then Save As, and then give it a title, and then Test 1, 2, 3, 4, hit OK, and it's saving. It has successfully saved successfully successfully saved so uh, if you want to go get it you're going to go up to your number this is your username s and your s number and you're going to go to save picto charts so when you go back log back in that's what you're going to go to yeah i want to leave this page and there is our picto chart so if we want to work on it edit it just click it on and we can continue editing editing our chart. So, any questions? Just a joke. Just a joke. Alright guys, good luck. Have fun. And let me show you one thing. If Once you finally finish everything, if you want to publish, or when you need to publish and hand it in to Ms. Schaefer, you click Publish, and you can publish it as a web page. If you go up here to HTML, and click Publish Now, it will give you the web page and you could email that web page to Ms. Schaefer just make sure that you put your name in the email or you actually could hand it in to her um, file there so right here is the link so if you do a right click copy you could paste it in in Microsoft Word with your name and then put that in Ms. Schaefer's file and she will have your web page. All right. Very good. All right, guys. Enjoy. Have fun.